Hey everybody, my name is Patrick Long from Omega Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk about whether or not white-tailed deer can actually see the color orange. Before we can talk about what colors deer can and cannot see, we need to talk about how they see. So a deer's eyes and a human's eyes are obviously different. So a human's eyes, we have our eyes facing forward, we see about 180 degrees, and in the middle we overlap about 140, 150 degrees. What this does is gives us a very detailed depth perception. So when you look and you can see something that's 20 yards away, and you can tell how far away it is. A deer's eyes are positioned on the sides of their heads. What this does for them is it gives them a much larger field of view. So we can see 180 degrees in front of us. Um, deer can see actually about 300 degrees around them. But where their eyes overlap is only about 30 degrees in front of them. Um, so what are the effects of this? So because of this, deer don't really have a great depth perception. They see with one eye on most of their vision and about 30% or um, 30 degrees in front of them, they overlap. So even when they do overlap, they don't have great as depth perception as us because they're a prey animal. Um, they're not built for that. They are built to be able to see all the way around them nearly and be able to see threats from anywhere around them. Um, so other than the positioning of their eyes, the actual eye is built differently. Um, I'm sure you've looked at a deer eye and you can tell that the cornea of the eye um, is much bigger. The cornea is the outside, um, just around the pupil, and it is what lets light in. So humans, obviously, we see very well during the daytime, not so well at night. Um, White-tailed deer see a whole lot better at night than we do. They also see great in the daytime. Uh, this is because their corneas are a lot bigger. They let in a lot more light, and um, because of this, they're able to see you know more light they can see more why is this though so to understand how um, seeing light works you need to understand photoreceptor cells there's two types of photoreceptor cells um, rods and cones and they let you see different um, wavelengths of light differently so wavelengths of light um, it may sound complicated but it's really not um, humans see between 400 and 700 nanometers um, in the wavelength spectrum so 400 is around the blue spectrum, um, 700 is around the red spectrum, and then everything else is in between. Um, below the blues you have your UV lights, and above the reds you have your infrared lights. Um, deer um, see very well between the 400 and around 500 wavelength. Um, 500 to 600, somewhere in between there. But what they see um, is much different than what we see. Humans are trichromatic um, creatures we see in three different colors and that's red um, green and blue so you have your RGB um, scale I know you've heard of RGB that's what all your pictures are colored in um, you can go through and change all of that and see how the colors change um, so our eyesight is built off of th those three main colors um, but a white tail is what we call dichromatic they only so die meaning two um, they only see in two main colors and that is blue and green so where you may perceive light and have it a mixture of these three colors and you um, see a certain color because of that, deer mix it only see a mixture of two colors. So when you see a uh, red, that is almost um, like a totally total red, not mixed with blue or green, you will see a totally different color than a white tail can. When you see a red, they're going to see more of a brown, um, just how their eyes perceive light differently, they're going to see a totally different color. So this is why we wear blaze orange. Um, orange is obviously, it's a heavily mixed with red, it's a red color, um, but when white-tailed deer see the color orange, they actually see more of a gray color. Um, so this is why we actually make hunters um, wear these during gun season. In the 80s, we passed a mandatory law where hunters had to wear either red or um, orange. And most of hunters were wearing red because they felt like they weren't seen as, as well, because it's not as bright. Um, the entire objective of this was to keep hunters safe. Um, and in the past decades, um, unfortunately, we do have accidents where hunters get shot by other hunters for you know, bad ethics, not knowing where your shot is going, not knowing what's behind your shot. Um, all these factors line up and accidents can happen 
but studies have shown that the orange, humans can see orange way better than they can see red, especially this bright fluorescent orange, and it keeps us safe, and um, studies have actually shown that the number of hunting-related fatalities have been going down and down and down year after year, and I think in But how do we know this? Um, so anybody can come around and say, um, oh, deer are colorblind, um, they see black and white, um, you know, they can see any color, they can see, you know, I've heard plenty of stories of hunters saying, oh, I sat in my deer stand, and as soon as I, I the deer walked up, as soon as I put my orange on, and they saw me and ran off. Well, that wasn't because you were wearing orange, it was because you are moving around and putting a vest on, and they saw your movement. Um, so the color doesn't matter. But how do we know this? I mean, a lot of hunters are very stubborn, so research helps to convince people. We um, don't really need convincing of scientific fact. But um, what we did, um, there's been studies in the 80s and 90s, and most recently um, there was a study at University of Georgia where a undergrad student by the last name of Miller actually took seven does and put them into a... Um, they called it a deer training apparatus. So what they had was basically two big screens, two L um, LCD screens, and they put one color on one and one color on the other, and at the bottom was a food trough, and there was an infrared um, sensor. So they would they would show two colors, and they would train the deer to go to the color they wanted it to, and if the deer went to the correct color, it would trigger the sensor, and um, the trough would open, and they would be able to eat. There would be a feed in there. If they went to the wrong one, it would trigger the sensor, close the trough, and they wouldn't be able to eat. So after months and months of training, I think it was about four or five months of training, they began to run tests on these deer. Now that they had them trained to respond to the correct stimuli, they were able to put colors that they wanted on the board or on the screens and get deer to um, go to the one that they wanted. So they ran data on this for more months and they finally concluded that um, deer, which were after the positive stimuli of food, couldn't tell the difference between browns and grays and oranges and reds. So this was our inclusive ed evidence for the like the most recent case, but like I said, there's been studies in the 80s, 90s. This is a well-known fact when you get into the scientific world, but the problem is a lot of hunters don't do a lot of research. They um, just kind of hunt based on what their dad and their granddad told them, and that's not, not a bad thing at all. Um, whole lot of aspects of how I hunt are predicated on how my dad hunted and my dad's always right so in my mind so um, it's not a bad thing at all it's just sometimes getting out of that little bubble of well this is how it's all I've always done it how my family's always done it and good doing a little bit of research can really help you on your hunt um, and when it comes to a topic like wearing orange vest if you're a hunter that really believes that um, whitetails can see the color orange and it's hurting your hunt and you didn't kill a big buck because of it and you're sitting out there without orange um, I hope nothing happens but I'm just saying you're at a higher risk of an accident happening um, especially if you're hunting on public um, property or um, you know private land where maybe you're not the only hunter out there or maybe there's somebody trespassing you never know um, so even when I am hunting on my very own backyard um, my parents' backyard, I, I wear my orange. doesn't matter. So from the research, um, we know for 100% fact, white toes can't see orange, so it might as well, next gun season, make sure you're wearing your orange. All right, guys, thanks for um, watching this video about whether white toes can see the color orange. I actually um, write a blog, and I wrote a blog that was in a whole lot more detail than this about the color orange and the whole topic and controversy around it. If you want to read more about that, you can go to omegaoutdoors.blog slash orange and read about it there.